Hello, hello, and hello again. It's your pal Droplus here, and welcome back to Frostpunk, where, due to our increasing coal shortage, we're all going to die. It's inevitable, but let's have fun whilst we do it. Oh, the watchtowers need workers. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that should help a bit. Yeah, yeah, not a lot, but what can we do? Uh, what do we need to build? We need a couple homes. We need plenty of shelter for sick people. And we are upgrading or researching a steam hut. So, as soon as we get that, we'll start plopping a few about the outskirts. Stop my people freezing to death. Stop them moaning and compla complaining. No, but they always complain, so what can you do? Oh, poor Artie the Automaton, just doing nothing. Alright, our scouts have reached the snow cliff. The hole in the snow cliff leads to a small chamber. Someone lives here, but the lonely human figure we saw from afar has disappeared. It might be the sole survivor of Winterholm. Ooh, let's explore. The refugee from Winterholm. The man we've seen from afar was nowhere to be found. Searching his burrow, we found a diary... A diary of the scientist who fled Winterhome. After the starving city fell into chaos, its leader, an army captain, appointed himself an absolute ruler. He tried to impose order using force. Plenty of people disgruntled deserted the city, and most of the others rebelled against him. And we've discovered a couple more locations. Uh, let's take the resources. And... Ooh. Is that group heading back, or are they heading to the coal mine? Which way are they heading? Okay, so they're heading to the coal mine. That group has a bunch of coal. Hmm. It may be wiser to send these guys home. Send an outpost team here to build an outpost. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, we'll send them home. Oh, okay, fine. We'll send them to the Shroud Cave. And hopefully um, that last survivor's there. And the other guys we'll send back soon. Let's put our workers in the coal mine. We have two hours of coal left. Let's go to range one. That should stretch it to three hours. Oh, that's not good. Uh, can we do emergency shift? Will that get people in that immediately? Come on, come on, guys. Get to work. We're about to freeze to death. Get to work. Okay. All right, now that we've lowered the temperature a bit, hopefully we'll make it. Uh, yeah, the just... Oh, that was, <laughs> I was wondering what that sound was. It was that uh, the discontent is high, the hope is low. I really want to get the range back up to two, but until that reaches over 100, I'm not going to risk it. And another death. Okay, we'll put it back at two then. Uh, during it, ooh, yeah. Well, no, we must... Uh, I, I need the coal... We need. We must make sacrifices, guy. You gotta work so we drop. Otherwise, everyone's going to die. Your families, your kids. Oh my God! More followers. No, 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 no. Uh, they want to join. Why is like London's not really going to be much better? Realistically, we've got a generator here. Does London have a generator? Why would we evacuate it if it didn't? If it did, so. Come on, guys. Let's add that extra worker on there. And what law will we do next? In purpose, I reckon. We'll probably do guard stations. Yeah. Discontent will rise slightly. Or a morning gathering. Morning gathering will be the next thing in purpose. And in adaptation, probably a public house. Or maybe one of the uh, engineers. I'll possibly extend shifts, but I'm not too sure just yet. Um, 
oh, we can replace these with bunkhouses. Like that. I'm dumb. I was dismantling them. I was wasting time having them be dismantled. When, you know, doing all that extra work, they can just build them anyway. Uh, that scout's going to get back here, hopefully. Yes. Oh no, they've reached the coal mine. Uh, the coal mine is automated. Its engine is pressurized, but the mining has stopped. The snow around it is untrodden, and an eerie silence hung hangs in the air. I bet, because it says we can make like an outpost there, we can make another one here to do another coal. Right? More coal than we can use. Uh, fantastic. Uh, it was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or filled the loading bay. Uh, we could retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. Uh, let's... Oh, oh, that's such a lot of raw materials. Uh, but let's take the store coal and then we can get the machinery back on operative later. Because I really want that. That would be fantastic for us to have all that coal. Oh, God, I forgot to set the timer again. Uh, I'll let them do their jobs whilst I try and get this up really quickly. Yeah. And research a steam hub. Fantastic. That's construction. You dumb. You don't. Uh, let us generate a power. We'll raise the temperature in the heat zones. That's good. Resources. We don't need gathering. Don't need any more drills or anything like that. What does charcoal kill do? So that burns wood for coal, so won't do that just yet. A hot house, what's our food situation? Yeah, okay. Hot house it is. And that will give us more jobs for our people. And then, yeah, we just use the wood there. That's fine. We're good, we're surviving. You know. Uh, going to try and lynch me, but we're surviving. Honestly, I'm not even going to build a home. That one homeless person <laughs> is cruel, but um, that one homeless person can probably just die. It's, it's sad, but yeah, they can probably just go ahead and die. Oh no, what next? Uh, improving radical treatment. Oh, yeah. Field surgeon in the Boer War. Work with the Royal Society. Uh, Specialised in reducing the rate of limb loss. Oh, this is perfect. Why have you only come to us now? So it has been days since we started amputating legs and arms. He, he probably was eating. He probably subscribed to our manifesto of eating the cut-off limbs and arms to keep himself fed. Look at him. He's got a little bit of a belly. So that's why he's decided to wait a little bit before coming to us. Now we've researched the start researching the hot uh, the greenhouses. I forget what they're actually called. Uh, now that's done, he's like, oh, maybe I should stop being a cannibal. <laughs> anyway, uh, give him what... Yeah, it's just one engineer. Give him what he needs. Uh, which area was it? I bet one of these is going to have one less now. There. Come on. There we go. Uh, I bought myself this silent mouse to reduce the noise. Uh, unfortunately, the keyboard's still very loud, but the mouse is now silent, so you don't really hear it clicking. However, I am going to have to return or exchange it because it doesn't always click. It's got a very narrow area, like a, you have to give it quite a forceful pressure in order for it to activate. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. The cave, this cave is a hideout for some children who were evac evacuated from winter home. There are no adult survivors. Oh, is this like, um, oh, what was it called? Like the little Lee Cavern place, you know, Fallout 3, uh, where they were all exploring the cave like a school group just as the bombs fell and then they survived as uh, children for hundreds of years because they just kicked out all the adults continuously. Um, yeah, they're no adults, we should sort of the kids. Okay. Uh, little survivors. We talked to the children in the hideout. They said that one night their teachers and some hunters took them from winter home on a secret adventure. Teachers told them they were going to stay up here for a while. 
When the food ran low, the gardens went back to get more and didn't return. It seems these kids were evacuated in time before things in their city got really ugly. Yes, they, they got evacuated before uh, Windholm reached the eating the children part of uh, cannibalism and starvation. <laughs> and now and now we're going to take them back to my city where the leader, of which me, has actively promoted uh, cannibalism of young children. <laughs> Oh god, uh, we can't send them back on their own. Oh my god, we're not getting their little kids. I'm not. Jeez, what kind of monster am I? To, oh, or even leaving them? No, we'll escort them back to the city. Yeah, they walk quietly and resolutely like little adults. The youngest, youngest, clutching their toys tightly. Ah, yeah, it's going to be a long journey. Uh, okay, so we're going to focus and. That guy will no longer be homeless because I am going to build. Uh, I got to build like two more child shelters, and then three or four more bunk houses. So where's the best place for this right now? Um. Hmm. The city is getting colder. It's gonna have to be on this outer ring. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it, but it's gonna have to. Alright, one, two. I'll we'll start doing that. Oh, healthcare, right? People are dying in the streets. Uh, Captain Angry Guard has gathered to protest against the deploy. I'm really trying, guys. I'm really trying. Oh. I'll open an infirmary right away. Do I even have an infirmary? Oh, then I'll have to research an infirmary. Oh, that's not going to happen, is it? Uh, that's another bunkhouse. I need some roads. Oh, just a little bit short. Oh, what's actually... What we can do is road out here, and then, um, will that get a house still? Does that actually reach the path? Oh, I'm not sure. Come on, research. Oh, it's free time. I really need to get extended work shifts, don't I? Uh, I should have done that really straight away in the game, because now it's coming back to bite me. Yeah, but uh, this this thing they're complaining, but the sickness is gradually going down, and there's no we have no gravely ill. We've only had two deaths, and one of them was a heart attack. You know that's not my fault. It doesn't matter. I've told him to work twenty four hours. It's not my fault. That's just bad luck. Bad luck right there. Um, come on. Yeah. Now I'm out of wood. Fantastic. Um, anywhere to get a 24 hour shift going. Right. It's here. Oh, that was a massive rise in discontent. Yeah, I, sh I probably should have done that, but I need, uh, I need the wood. Come on, lads, ladies. No little children because I'm not a monster. Get to work. Uh, then I'll build a steam core out here. Oh, that's only that's livable there. Refusal to work. Discontent or discontent or right. All right, fine. One of the workers can have a day off. It's unfair, but it's it is what it is. I can't avoid it. I can't afford. Any more ra massive rises and discontent? Uh, people are starting to go hungry again. Where's the cookhouse? Come on, guys, get to work. Get to work. I stop defaulting to normal speed, please. Uh, what else do we need to research? Oh, we need more wood. Come on. 
Come on, gas our wood, get us our wood. Please, oh, that only has coal. We need the coal, but that only has coal. Uh, we're gonna need another cookhouse, aren't we? Hmm, this is not good. Book of Lords, Book of Lords, Morning Gathering. Let's increase our hope. Every day. A little school assembly. That's how I imagine it. Uh, good morning, city. Uh, yes, yes, please sit down. Quiet, quiet, please, city. Right, we have a busy day ahead of us. And yes, I'm just waiting for that extra wood. Yes, come on. Come on. Faster, faster, faster. Oh, uh, timely innovation. Uh, a child climbed the generator, slipped and fell, but was caught by a neighbourhood watch member. I wish all oh, neighbourhood watch, watch, watches were this good. Generally, they're more of a similar to a homeowner society in the US. Less power, but more as an excuse to spy on your neighbours, be rude and be uh, nosy little bastards. I dislike 90% of all neighbourhood watches. For that reason, uh, he escorted the child to his mother, gave them a good talking to. Yeah, it could have been a broken well, broken leg, or worse. Well, that's good that it ended well. Come on, come on, back, back to work. And if we can start researching drafting machines. And they've come back so they can go to, ooh, an American camp. Several big cents, no signs of life. But an American flag over the top. It's not far away, let's go send them. Uh, the children are nearly back to our city as well. That's fine. Uh, we've built those houses. Uh, where is the steam hub? Probably build this here. Yeah. And that should help keep these houses nice and warm. Yeah, lovely. Look at that. And then we can expand this area backwards soon as. Uh, okay, all the children are back. We'll send that scout group immediately back out into the wastelands. Uh, they probably hate me. Oh, that's going to be a long... Three days. <laughs> On a three-day journey. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, scouts. You're going to need it. Um, hmm. We need another bunkhouse. Let's do it. So there's there. There. Then there. Just so it is in the lovely path of that Jenny. Fantastic. Or oh, that Steam Hub, rather. Uh, yeah, that's going to be all days. That's fine. Food for overtime. Yeah! Uh, hmm. Emergency shifts. We'll give them an extra ration, even though it will probably cost us quite a bit. Uh, we need, in food, the hothouse. Which we're going to chuck right here. And get a street out to it. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, put people to work on that immediately. Oh, the Londoners now have 30 followers. It's not good at all. Book of Lords, Book of Lords. Could go purpose again. A foreman uh, increases the well, this ability or guard station, which will increase discontent. In adaption, 
public house, height will rise, dueling law, discontent will be reduced per permanently, but people will get killed in duels. Um, extended shift, that's what we needed. We need that extended shift to make people work and be happy. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. The temperature's fallen again. Oh. Oh, it's freezing back here. Look at this. Uh, tech. We'll build a steam hub here. Oh, all these people are going to freeze to death, aren't they? Unless we turn them into bunkhouses. If we turn these into bunkhouses, come on. What do I need? Oh, steel. Are we out of steel? Where's our steel mine? That's a sawmill. Steel works. Only 2.4 an hour. All of those will be on the longer shifts. Every single one of them. Uh, discontent will rise a bit, but it'll be fine. Uh, drafting machines. Fantastic, which means we can go with an infirmary. As soon as we get that steel. Steel hasn't really been a big issue for me this game, but now it's uh, it's catching up to me. Fewer amputations. Fantastic! Uh, the doctor who was in trying to improve radical treatment is here. He's reporting a break. Well, he was already here. He's had a breakthrough, though. <laughs> it's certainly an unorthodox method, and my learned con colleagues would be appalled at the experience I had to perform. But it works. I expect the number of amputations during radical treatment to be halved. Hmm. Lovely. Um, how experimental was your treatment, Doctor? Did you, um, did you kill some people to make it all happen? Did you? Is that a thing? Is this too cold to work? Yeah, it's very cold out here. I'm going to have to have another steam hub here. I am starting to go through my steam at an increased rate. Um, oh, well, I can't do any of these, so I'll let him speak. Yes. Oh, God, that'll increase them by 10. Uh, oh, I literally, I was trying so hard to fulfill the promise. I was trying so hard to research it in time. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Look, infirmary. Right there. It's a bit too late. Uh, ooh, the scouts have reached the American camp. Let's see. Oh, there's well, there's not a living. So I didn't really expect it. There's no smoke or anything, but I hoped. Um, and there were a lot of amputees filled with prof uh, prosthetic limbs. I can't pronounce prosthesis very well. Let's explore. American camp was well supplied with everything except food. Uh, people died, were victims of hunger. But with badly worn but sophisticated artificial limbs. Uh, Tesla manufacturing. We'll take the resources and they can head off to the temporary settlement. No signs of life, but still, probably some resources that we can use. So that is good. Here, can't work because it's a bit too cold. I am trying to get enough uh, steel to create uh, to uh, create another steam pub right here but it's taking its time uh, writing on the wall uh, send the watchman to ignore it yeah mm -hmm. this is not good it's not gonna good. Guys, hold it together just a little while longer, please. Oh god, 44 followers. Yeah, I know about temperature requirements. It's just very cold. Um, it's going to be like this for the next four days. I just have to make it through. I just need to get past day 20, then I can unlock the other scenarios. Okay, Steam Hub. First thing first. Uh... Where's the best location? 
Is there... I need a street right here. Quickly. And then I can get a steam hub that covers all three areas here. And that should keep our people alive. Fantastic. Ah, oh, and they've reached the temporary settlement. Okay. Uh, it seems to have been abandoned. Several tidy shacks. Yep. Uh, memory of injustice. The centre of this settlement is marked with an upright boulder. On its roughly planned face, someone chiselled the following. May God forgive the genius who sacrificed human lives in the name of progress. But we can't. Exiles of Tesla City. We won't touch the monument, we, but we've dismantled the huts for food. Or oh, for wood. For food? I was going Like, you can't eat the huts. Um, let's go to the walled colony, and then we can double back after. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, Book of Laws. Book of Laws. Let's get a public house. Increase our hope. Listen, everyone. Yep. New law is public house. That can go here. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Cookhouse helpers. Uh, they want to help in the cookhouse. Yeah, amputees. Yeah, sure. Uh, and it will, it will rise by forty percent for a hundred wood. That's perfect. Yeah, I'd love that. We need efficiency for cook houses and all sorts. Uh, we've, we've researched the infirmary. Hmm. Hunting tactics. Will this give us no flying? No. I need a way to increase our food somehow um, no generate power steam hub oh what to research what to research at all let's improve the scout speed just for now actually what was the factory uh, automatons and hover advanced devices that should be fine Low coal. Ooh, we are low on coal. It's not great. Angry about the coal? I've just put a bunch of steam hubs down. I literally, I've really going through coal. We're going to run out of coal just because I've been heating up your homes. Um, seven homes. Fine, I'll heat up seven more homes. I don't know how that's happened. Lazy buggers. Uh, we need another coal mine somewhere right next there and then we'll just extend the street perfect and then we will go back to people no go back to people get some more bunk houses get the one out there get there that should do a bit better Come on, come on, come on. Alright, um, I'm going to wait for that scout team to reach its location, and then I'm going to wrap up this episode, just because I think I'm going a little bit over time again, and I don't want it to be super long like last time. Uh, we need people in the public house to actually make it work. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, Joe. Well done. That should help things a bit. Oh, another act of vandalism. Woo! Mocking my, mocking my leadership? How dare they? How dare they? We now have only one sick person. I've been doing very well, considering the situation. I've been doing very well indeed. Uh, oh, we need more steel. Hmm. Come on, get some steel. Oh, what's this? Watchmen. Oh my god, more members. They got beaten up. We need guards. Yes. Okay, we need guards. Build a man at two guard stations. These are just watchtowers, so they don't count as guard stations. So we need to go get... Oh, 51 followers. Oh, and it's going up by two now. Why? 
like most people have warm homes that's only chilly I'll get another steam hub over here okay I'll get one right here and then we will run out of coal but yeah that's only chilly we've reached the exile colony let's explore uh, new no shelters expertly built uh, burnt out vampire, uh, vampires campfires <laughs> and it's a deathly silence there's dying exiles still alive but just barely we could bring them to our city although they might die on the way one holds a dying di dying <laughs> one holds a diary to his dying chest we read the last entry exiled from Tesla city with food and fuel running out we sent the strongest among us to search for help. They're our last hope. Uh, probably refers to the Yankees, we think. Uh, let's take him back to the city with us. Oh, we could rob them. Oh, that's so cruel. No, we'll take him back with us. and That will be okay. Um... Oh, some of them stirred from their death-like slumber to bless their absent friends for bringing help. We couldn't tell them the truth. Not yet. Wait until we get back to the city. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's tragic. Okay. Uh, yeah, I said I was going to wrap up, so time to wrap up. In the next episode, we have to sort our steel and coal shortages before everyone freezes to death. Actually, yeah, we'll put the engineers there. If not, everyone's going to abandon to London. That's why I've decided to have those people come back. So we have more spare people once we inevitably lose a bunch of London in 10 days. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Uh, in the comments below, let me know anything you want me to do, how I could improve. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.